So first, I'll start by asking, where did the idea for girlhood come from? Well, it came from um, an observation. I mean, I, I kept passing by those groups of girls in the streets of Paris, uh, being together, being in this great energy of sorority and uh, being in public space like it's a theater scene and uh, being playing, uh, being already actresses or characters. And I was really, really wanted to look at, th at those girls. And I was thinking, okay, this is a good starting point for a movie, wanting to look at somebody. Um, and in the meantime, uh, I felt like they were never looked at, uh, especially black girls. And uh, I thought, okay, I have the urge to look at them. And maybe there's the urge for us to look at them. Why do you think that is, that you know, not many sort of, not only female coming of age stories, but female, black female uh, coming of age stories? Why do you think there's been so few of them? Huh. <laughs> I think the answer is quite depressing. Uh, what I can say is, now that I've done it, I, 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 I even more don't understand why. Uh, and uh, why do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> people don't want to see me <laughs> answer the question. But, but I hope that sort of after your example, people will do more for sure. But I say I really like this film. It's it's about the story of representation. It's it's uh, I think it's it's happening. I hope it's happening. Mm. It should happen. Mm. Uh, and I imagine it's hard to write a film like this without thinking of your own experiences. So how autobiographical is this? Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's officially the, the, the film that I made that is the further from me, but I think it's the one that tells the most about me in the end, um, about me as a filmmaker and also about me as a, as a, it tells a lot about my obsession because it's, it's an official charity, but there's a, a lot of it that uh, is, is um, um, about my own journey, I think. Um, and the English title, Girlhood, actually is really generic uh, and, and I, I, like, I like it a lot for, for that. Uh, uh, who is the French young girl today? Hey, maybe it's her. Mm -hmm. I think it's her. Um, and you know, the film tells a lot about the construction of femininity and it's something I've been working on like for three films now. And, uh, and it's really meeting my own you know, themes and obsession, I think. I grew up in the suburbs also, so I, I know uh, it was, I was a m middle class white girl from the suburbs, but I think I know that feeling of uh, being at the periphery, you know, that feeling of uh, being so close to the center but so far. And one of my favorite scenes in this film is the scene where the, all the girls sing Diamonds, the yeah. song. Literally, I could not get it out of my head <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. I've had it in my head for <laughs> a year now, you know. <laughs> How did you come to sort of settle on that track? And then was the construction of that was that? Was it always planned that way, or did the girls sort of have some say in that too? Well, I wrote the scene for that song. Uh, it was the moment of the release of Diamonds, actually, that I was writing the script, and I fell in love with the song, and I felt it was, of course, the heat of the moment, but also it was really already a classical, and, and I felt it had also the characteristic of an anthem, you know, a, a generation anthem, and the lyrics really tells about uh, how together we are stronger, but together also we, we become iconic, we become who we want to be. Uh, um, so I felt it was really connected to what I was trying to tell, um, like the portrait of a friendship, the choreography of a friendship. That's why I decided to make it the dance scene. And it's really a strong narrative scene for me because it's all about how, it's all about the birth of a friendship in one sequence. Um, and. Um, it was really choreographed. I mean, no, the girls just made it happen in a magical moment, and the move, the moves, and how they interact—it's just their own interaction. But um, I had really, I really wanted the, the 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 choreography of the camera is really, really something I'd fantasized a, a lot about before shooting, and even the light—it's all they are all, you know, and it's, the room is all blue and. Uh, um, and it's really a mix between yeah my fantasy and the magical that they brought at the moment. Yeah, fantastic scene. Um, you've had experience directing uh, young uh, young actors before yeah. um, in your previous films. Now that this is your third uh, third time doing it, does it is it an easier process for you now to sort of direct people who haven't acted before? 
Yeah, it's a process I feel confident uh, about and that I like it and uh, I, I think it's, it really, it's really connected to, to what I want to tell. Uh, I like to tell about the, met the metamorphosis of teenagehood and, and the fact that I, I pick y a young cast, that they actually grow uh, as actors and also as individuals in front of the camera. It really brings the truth out of uh, the story. Um, so yeah, but no, I think it's the last time that I'm going to do that. Uh, you know, oh, because I enjoy sorry. it so much, you know. So <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to chat a little bit about um, your sort of the fade to black uh, uh, piece of storytelling, which I thought was really good. How did you uh, sort of come up with that and sell it on that? I thought that was very interesting. Which, uh, what, what do you mean? When you sort of fade to black at significant intervals in the film, um, uh, when um, the, the chapter's effect, the generic like, effect, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I really, I wanted the, the movie to be in the present, in the chronicle, but also I wanted it to be kind of Romanesque, you know, because I wanted it to be a destiny. So I decided to, to think it as a TV series, you know, as each episode is an identity of the character, is a, is a step in the path of the character. And we have strong holes uh, of time and, uh, and um, and if you add up the episode, then it, yeah, it brings a destiny. And I decided that I wanted this uh, kind of a credit effect, you know, like uh, without credits, but with this, yeah, 10 seconds of um, room in, in the dark. And uh, you're not supposed to do that, but it's cool to do something you're not supposed to do <laughs> with the music, you know, taking all the room. Um, and um, it's also because I wanted this, the, the spectator to, to be curious of the next identity of the character. And it's something I'm always uh, obsessed about is how you make a show out of a face, you know, how it's an event that a face goes in the frame and goes out. Uh, and as, as the, 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 the movie goes, I think the audience is more and more connected to how is she gonna look like, who is she gonna be? So it means that he's really into, into the journey of the character. Absolutely. And with a, we've also had a film called Boyhood, you may have heard, yeah. earlier this year. We sort of examined uh, the life of a child in different stages. If you were to revisit these characters 10, 20 years down the line, what do you think uh, they'd be up to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, and I wouldn't do it, actually. That's why I can't answer to your question, because I really wanted um, the, end, the ending and the movie and the journey of the character to be open, just to be true to the fact that it's life is ahead of her. And I didn't want it, the ending to be dark or positive because I feel like um, she's gonna make it, you know, and it belongs to her. I don't know, I can't, I, I can't be definitive. And I like the fact that um, the spectator is also kind of in charge of the destiny of that girl, you know. I'm not the only one in charge. She's in charge and we are all in charge. Um, but you know, movies, of course, the movie is born today, is made today. But I think, you know, the ending will change in our mind. Maybe in 10 to 20 years, I don't have to write the ending. The world will have changed in a good way, hopefully, and the ending will be written in the world, you know. Well, thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. And again, fantastic film. Thank thanks. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!